recognize this guy? Stay tuned. Hey YouTube, it's Brian and I'm coming at you today with a fish room update for March 2018. Never got in around to getting anything out in February. It was uh, super busy, was sick, just just didn't work out. So anyway, um, thought I would start today with uh, a fish that may be familiar to a lot of you guys that are super avid, big cichlid keepers, especially umbies, and uh, that's Magnus. That's right, Magnus is now in my fish room, along with Beast. She's hiding back here because he's being a little rough on her. But I, I'm gonna back up here and show you. I've uh, picked up Magnus and Beast along with their 300 gallon acrylic aquarium from uh, Mike Mann. Um, he's basically sold off the rest of his fish and equipment to me and he's uh, kind of completely out of the hobby now, so he doesn't have any more livestock. And I couldn't pass up the opportunity to have this awesome fish uh, in my fish room, so I went ahead with it, uh, picked him up, and brought him home now. It's been close to two weeks, depending on when I air this. Um, he's slowly doing better and better here. Um, the journey over, the sh not shipping, but me bringing him over and getting the tank set up and all that, Took a lot out of them. Got some ammonia burn to the fins. Uh, things like that. But uh, he's recovering and he's going to make a complete recovery. His, co his color is getting better and better every day. The blue is just coming out more and more. He's been really rough on Beast though. Um, and so I kind of created a little cave for her. You can see some nips that... Uh, some are healing up, um, some are still a little fresh. He can still get at her at some points or else when she comes out, but... Yeah, I haven't seen this fish since probably last summer in person. But just the sheer... I mean, this is... He's such a beast. That's kind of weird because her name's Beast, but... This fish is probably close to four inches thick. I mean, from if you look at him from the front side to side... I'm not even, not even sure how long. I was gonna try to get a measurement, but I, I needed to get him in this tank as soon as I could once I uh, got it filled up and everything. Um, here she is, let's see if she'll come out a little and get on camera. Looks like she's not gonna today, but anyway. Um, I'm expecting them to continue to get do better and better um, as the days go on here, but like I say, um, doing real well. Both fish are eating, um, they're swimming around, they're doing great. Um, it, was, it was a big move for fish this size though, and um, you know, it, it did take a lot out of them. And like I say, there was some um, ammonia burn that happened just because of the length of time it took, and I had them in basically Rubbermaid garbage cans, um, but that's for a fish this size. I mean, put it this way, his, his uh, snout, or his mouth, and his tail touched each side of the garbage can. That's how, that's how long he is, but anyway. So, I'm happy to say Magnus and Beast are still around. They're in my fish room and uh, hopefully can enjoy them for many years to come. It's kind of neat now that um, Optimus has his daddy and mommy home <laughs> in the same fish room. These guys are doing great. Matrix uh, is sitting on a bunch of wigglers in this pot. They just had a recent spawn. Um, his collars probably never look better. He's just been doing real good lately. Other than that, not a whole lot to say about them, but um, I know everyone's going to ask, are you going to sell this pair? And the answer at this point is no. Um, I, I, there's no way I could get rid of such an awesome specimen as this guy right here. Um, so that's what, uh, that's what I can tell you about that. Uh, the Dove Eyes, 
These are Wildcat Nicaraguan Dovi down here, Artemis and uh, Orion. They're doing good. They recently spawned again. There's still some fry in there, but uh, as usual, they have started eating them. Doing good. Um, over here, the Redis latest pair are ready to spawn or have. It's always hard to tell down in this tube. A lot of times she'll lay eggs down here. I'm not sure if he fertilizes them or not, but they never amount to anything. But uh, doing good. A piece of food left over from this morning up there. Just been playing around with it. Can't really seem to get her out of the tube right now, so she may have laid eggs down there. They were really showing spawning behavior the other night. So, down here, the uh, Hadiensis pair are doing great. They actually recently spawned, and then you can see where the eggs were on this rock. Last night, I was just doing tank maintenance, and I didn't even do a water change on this tank, just because sometimes with freshly laid eggs, I decide not to. But I did want to clean up a little bit of algae so I could view the eggs better. So I was scraping right here on the glass and he just went into freak out mode. He's um, super protective. And I didn't think much of it. I pulled away and blah, blah, blah. Came back 10 minutes later and noticed that all the eggs were gone. So they either ate them or I'm not sure if they were at the point where they were starting to hatch and I didn't notice. Because there was heavy algae on here. I hadn't cleaned this glass in like over two weeks. Maybe they were to the point where they were starting to go from hatchlings to wigglers and she's moved them. She has been hanging out back here behind these rocks a lot. So I'm possibly there could be something back there. I don't know. Last time she kind of did that where I thought the, thought the eggs had been eaten. And then a week later there's free swimmers. Uh, the Trimax over here are doing good. Um, some nip fins and everything, but uh, we're getting some pretty good growth. Um, all eight of them are still alive. Um, I had to divide the tank and move my Hadiensis pair, the other Hadiensis pair up here, because this tank down here, the other 125, um, um, a seal went. So I'm in the process of getting this tank replaced. But yeah, everything's going good up here. I'm really excited to to get some of these Trimax to pair off, or two of them to pair off, and then I'll sell the rest off and start raising a Trimax pair. So over here I've got uh, a few Umbies that I also brought home from Mike's house. These are F1s from um, Magnus and Bees. This I thought was a male. Um, and actually had it listed for sale. Luckily no one bought it, but it is a female because it laid these eggs yesterday. I sat and watched it. There's another female in here that um, is a little bit smaller. Oh, she's hiding up here now. They've been fighting all morning. You can see they've been lip locking. You can see she's got a little bit of damage, but I'm looking to move these on. So if you're interested in a female, let me know. There's an, there's a, a so this one's nine inches, this one's seven, and then there's another one around four or five in here too. I'm looking to move those on. Um, if you're looking for an F1 Umbi female, <clears throat> there's, the, there's the smallest one down in this tube. Sorry, there's a bunch of poop down there, but um, anyway. <clears throat> yeah, this one laid eggs with no male in there. And, um, can see a huge clutch of legs so she's she's fertile just needs a male to go with it um, so um, shoot me an email if you're interested in these but uh, that's what I got going on up here um, what else uh, so I've got this is the last of my dovi fry right here I got 10 left contact me um, I'll cut you a deal on all 10 of these um, can ship uh, Delta Cargo preferred, or I could probably ship these U.S. Postal. Um, probably wouldn't do a live arrival guarantee with U.S. Postal though. I've also got this um, 
Moda here that's from my old pair um, before the male killed the female. It's about a five inch fish. Wanna, looking to get rid of this one. Let me know if you're interested. This is a real Blanco Moda. Um, I've got five Midas, five or six Midas grow outs that I'm looking to move. These are under an inch. And then some brand new Midas uh, fry that I just pulled. I'll show you who they came from in a minute. These ones here are from not from Cheeto, they're from Cheeto's brother. And then down here I've got these Moda Grots that I got from James. These are also from Sean Hyden's line, just like this one is. And I'm looking to move most, if not all, of these on too. I just I just don't have the space. So if you're looking for some Rio Blanco um, Modas, uh, let me know and we'll work something out. Um, these are two to three inch in size now, maybe possibly a few in there that are pushing four, but they're real nice, avid eaters, um, swimming all the time, um, they're going to be real nice fish, so let me know if anyone's interested in that. Again, contact me by email if you're looking to buy any fish, email is below. We'll head over here, um, check out uh, Colossus, he's being his usual self. Swimming around, being cool. Um, colors are looking great as always. Got a few loaches in there as you can see as well. Um, below that is um, Cheeto's brother and the female. Um, they've recently spawned, as I said a few minutes ago. I pulled some fry, they still got some in there. Gonna try to grow some more of these out and uh, see what we can come up with. But they're, they're uh, both doing real well. Um, the Modas, um, I think in my last video I had her already, but if not, I, I picked up another female from Sean, because uh, he had killed his last female, which you know if you follow my channel, quite a few months ago. And I've pulled the divider twice, as you can see it didn't go real well the second time, or the first time, but the second time he did a little bit more damage. She's been real shy and been hiding. <clears throat> under that heater area most of the time until you know in the last four days or so she's been swimming around on her own um, checking him out up at the glass a lot so I'm hoping that's a good sign I'm gonna let her completely heal up before I pull the divider again but um, we'll see what happens I'm gonna continue to hopefully try to pair these guys up uh, up above here Here's the red magma, still doing well. Thinking I'm gonna move this guy on. Got some ideas on what I might want to do something different in this tank. Um, I'm not sure what a price would be on it. This is a beautiful specimen though. Um, I'd hate to let him go, but I'm still thinking about it. So if you're interested potentially in a red magma flower horn, hit me up and we'll talk about it. Just not sure yet if I'm gonna let him go. Uh, we'll head upstairs quick and say hi to Cheeto, and then we'll wrap this video up for the week, or the month, whatever you want to say. Um, yeah, so here's Cheeto, and there's me and the reflection. Um, Cheeto is doing real well. Um, I'm going to pull the other female. Um, he's been basically ready to spawn with her. She's been ready to spawn with him. I think that it's just a distraction with the third female in there, or the third fish, I should say, second female. Just don't have anywhere to put her right now. And I don't want to sell her yet until I for sure know that I've got a bonded pair with these two. So um, that's on the horizon, but uh, I'm just kind of waiting until I have the room to do so. But yeah, that's really it right now. Um, we'll go back downstairs and take one more look at Magnus. Alright, so that's all I've got for you this month, guys. I appreciate you watching these videos and taking the time, commenting, everything like that. Um, if 
you're interested in buying some Southern Delight, um, hit me up with the email below and uh, we'll get you set up. If you're new to this channel, um, thanks for subscribing. Also know that I do sell Southern Delight in bulk and uh, have it readily available. So any type of fish you have, Southern Delight has a food for it, whether it be freshwater, saltwater, whatever. So uh, let me know. Um, if you're new to the channel and first time watching, make sure you subscribe for regular updates on my fish, my shrimp, and my saltwater tanks. And uh, just appreciate everybody that does watch these videos. Until next time, take care. Later.